Hi guys, we're doing fried chicken today, but I haven't started yet. I wanted to show you the chicken that I bought from the store. This came pre-packaged, and we covered this in the section on cleaning chicken. I just want to show you what, what the store gives you, and this is actually pretty clean in comparison to some of the product I've seen in the past. This is the wing, that's pretty nice, still have, you know, feathers on, you got to clean it, that's okay. Um, and this is, a, this is one of the leading chain stores. These are the breasts. You see that fat? See that fat? That's not skin, that's fat on there. All over there, you got to clean that off. That's okay. The, the drumsticks, you already know what you have to do. If you don't know how to clean chicken out this cut, just go on my website and look at the uh, video on cleaning chicken. These are the gizzards, they pack them in there because I thought they're selling it by the pound, so, you know, they're in business to make money. This is the other wing, it's rather puny. You know, when you cut your own chicken, you could do a better job than that. Um, and these are the thighs. Once again, filled with the fat and all of the other stuff from the chicken. I just want you guys to see that because we covered that before, but that drives my point home. Okay guys, we're ready to fry chicken now. I've cleaned and pat dry the um, chicken. And I'm gonna season it with some of the seasoning in the recipe. And the rest of the seasoning has already gone into the, into the um, flour. Because for this recipe, you're going to season both flour and chicken. And this is and this is an egg that I whipped up. Where I put a little beet to, and I'm just going to use half of it. You're going to mix it up a little bit. See if you put too much of the um, egg for a wash, then actually a lot of the seasoning goes into the egg. And we're going to use my my bag here, my plastic bag. And we're just going to put the chicken in there. And I usually put on a glove. I, I have those gloves I bought from the the homewares. I usually put on a glove to, to handle this project. And we're gonna put it in there. And we're gonna shake it up. Now in my pan, just so you can see, I have a thermometer. And that thermometer reads out the temperature that I want to be at. My ideal temperature it's around 360 degrees and I get it a little bit hotter because there's going to be some temperature loss as we place the chicken in there. On the wings, tie it back. And when you drop it, drop it going away from you. You never want to drop it coming forward because this is a lot of uh, hot stuff over there. That grease is hot. I would feel better if you just use tongs to actually do it. So I'll grab a pair of tongs and demonstrate that to you because that's, that's the safest way. You just use your tongs to, to get it in there. That's far safer. Now we're gonna fry that on one side for about um, seven minutes. Okay, it's been seven minutes now, so we're going to turn them. Look how golden brown that is already. Now, I do at least seven minutes on each side. That's to ensure that everything's good and done all the way through. However, the breast and the wing cooks fast. I'll take everything 14 minutes just because of consistency and ease of method. But the dark meat takes a couple of minutes longer. So 
So we're going to let this go for another several minutes and come back and we'll see the finished product. Okay, it's been seven minutes. Now we'll begin to pull my chicken out of the pan. That's really nice. And I have a double um, paper towel that I'm using to bring the chicken on to. And that's it guys, Southern Fried Chicken. I'll see you next time.